of words at the moment. I, when I first saw it, it looked like a Stenbock, but um, obviously we can see now it is not a Stenbock. Um, so it, obviously one of these domestic dogs has wandered through from the fence line into the into the into the reserve. And uh, of course, this is a a reality that happens quite often all over Africa. Leopards are actually very fond of dogs, and in areas where a lot of their natural prey has been removed, uh, they will feed off domestic dogs. There's a population of leopards that live within the city of Durban in South Africa in a ravine area called Kloof that feed off domestic dogs regularly um, and also the leopards that live around Johannesburg and stuff like that will also regularly feed off dogs. And it is a reality of living in the bush. <laughs> so obviously this is also one of the dangers um, domestic dogs pose a, a really big danger to a lot of wildlife they are one of the carriers of rabies and canine distemper and other diseases um, fortunately there were two dogs actually I've just heard from Tax that he, he just grabbed one and the fact that there are two dogs it's very unlikely that they are carrying rabies or whatnot but this is definitely not something we see on a daily basis you might find even the two dogs might have tried to chase him and then pushed him into this position of having to, to catch one of them and this is a first for me in the Sabi Sands. Um, I have occasionally seen domestic dogs that have meandered into the park. Uh, this is the first time I've ever seen a leopard catch one and take it up a tree. Tax did he bumba? Bumba both. Just bumba one. The in was coming that side and the dog was just running on the road. Surprise was just coming. When we saw Surprise coming from the other side, we thought he's coming with the two English. <laughs> and when you get close, so, uh, dog and, uh, and, uh, <laughs> oh. so there's uh, quite a lot of giggles going on between the rangers and trackers around here. This is definitely not a normal sighting. <laughs> and this is a perfect example how, how all predators out here are opportunists. So he has seen an opportunity at a relatively easy meal and he has taken it. I'm have you told the movers in the in the west? In the west? I tried, but uh, they were all from Bakaya. I don't know if maybe yeah, they did that. Okay. Way. Sorry, guys, just any station on the way is copying me. Um, if you are copying me, uh, we have Madiba has caught a domestic dog, Triple M Junction and Pilot Plants. So as you can see the dog is expired now, it is no longer with us. He will feed on it, he will take an opportunity to get that meat. And Jenny's wondering, is this possibly one of his bigger kills? And um, I think possibly it could be, it's probably about the same size as Stenbock, maybe a little bit bigger, but definitely one of his bigger kills that we've witnessed, not to say he's made other kills at different stages. It's a Torchwood vehicle text. Well, surprise was surprised when he found the 
<laughs> the leopard with the dog and he's laughing very much now. <laughs> so, I actually am at a loss of words and that doesn't happen very often. But, um, but the dog's so alive. Why doesn't he kill it yet? He'll kill it. So it actually looks like that dog is still alive. He hasn't actually killed it yet. I just saw a bit of movement on the neck. So I'm quite sure that the dog is very badly wounded, even though it is not dead yet. Um, I don't think it's going to make an escape from this. And I'm quite sure it will die from its injuries, and it's probably in so much shock now, it, it's not feeling anything. So guys, it, it looks like the dog is is almost dead. It's probably going to die from internal injuries from those bites. Uh, obviously, this is a a very unusual sighting and not something we see often. There is a possibility that these dogs are poachers' dogs that are being used for hunting, and d domestic dogs like this are used all around Africa for hunting small to medium-sized antelopes, so stenbok, uh, and it is possible that they were part of a hunting party that have now that have now got separated or whatnot and and this young leopard has come across this there we go he is going in for the rest of the kill um guys we are coming towards the end of the sunrise safari and i know for a lot of you who are pet owners this is probably going to be a very difficult sighting to watch and i think the dog is pretty much dead now and we have we'll have to call in the sabi sands and obviously 